All right, Nick, Pop Pals is an important program at the Ronald McDonald House in Rochester. It offers a bit of therapy for families using the house. Jill, Sarah, and Anna Backus, along with uh, Bailey. We have yes. Bailey yes. here joining us today to talk a little bit more about Pop Pal Paw Pals, and you have a very unique experience with dog therapy, correct? Yes. Tell me more about that. Uh, it all started with uh, the birth of our youngest daughter here, Anna. Miss Anna. Yes. My husband and I and our family was on vacation, and I was uh, expecting Anna, and uh, she came early. And so we were... She's a little Hawaii baby. She is our little Hawaiian baby, yes. <laughs> And so we were um, in a situation where we needed some help. She needed more support. And we um, were fortunate enough to have the resource available to us of the Ronald McDonald House in Hawaii. And um, it was an amazing resource. So uh, they provided so much for us. And yeah. one of the things that they did was we learned the, about the Paw Pals program there. And we met the dog um, that they had at the house in Hawaii. And when we were finally able to come back, when she was strong enough, big enough to come back, uh, when she was about a month old, uh, we were came home, my husband and I, and told our other daughters, Sarah, and our other daughter, Emma, who were ages 10 and 13 at the time, about our experiences when they finally got to meet their little sister. And um, we had Bailey at that time. Bailey was about two. And our oldest daughter, Emma, who's 13, um, was training Bailey in obedience through the 4-H program. And we kind of made a, a very quick family decision that um, we really wanted to give back to the Ronald McDonald House for everything that they've done for us. That's pretty And fantastic. so we had her um, certified as a therapy dog. And the da my daughters, Sarah and Emma, have been the main handlers. And we've been volunteering at the house ever since as our way to give back. So Sarah, how did you train Bailey? You and your sister, I guess, train yes. Bailey to deal with the people that are typically dealing with a tough time at the Ronald McDonald House? Well, um, we originally started dog training through 4-H, like I said, in third grade. Um, only one dog can have one handler, though. Mm -hmm. So Emma started out with Bailey. I started with our neighbor's dog. And uh, we wanted to give back to the community. And so we started volunteering at Ronald McDonald House. And it was... Um, <laughs> Nice to give back. It, it was. It was nice to give back. After Emma went away to college, I took over for Emma. And it's pretty easy volunteering, I'd say, because you just get to sit around with people, visit, and just talk about dogs. And pets are always fun, and they're a great way to brighten other people's moods. Yeah, everyone loves when you show up, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. So how old is Bailey now, then? Bailey is 12 years old. Oh, she's 12. OK. OK. So do you help, too, Anna? Not yet. Not yet? <laughs> Not yet, but you hang out with Bailey at home, I'm assuming? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think about Bailey? Um, she's very nice, and I like, and she listens very she's well. She's a good listener. Like Are you a good listener, too? Yeah. Oh, that's good. She must <laughs> take after you, then, Mom. Or maybe you take after her, because how old are you? Eight. You're eight, so she's a little bit older than you, huh? <laughs> so how can people get involved if they want to um, maybe do something like what you did to give back to the Ronald McDonald House? Uh, they can also volunteer, or if they also want to uh, have their own therapy dogs, we got certified through C Therapy Dogs International. Okay. Um, it's a lot of obedience training, and we got a lot of that done through 4-H. Sure. So that was, being a show dog was easy. Yeah. Or helped a lot with the process, but so there was a, a lot of other work to do, too. Yeah, a little bit of a learning curve, but you were... You were up for the challenge. Fantastic. Yes. So, Jill, what was it like for you? Remind us one more time when you were dealing with a very tough time in your life. You had Miss Anna come a little early. Yes. She was early, and you spent some time away from home. Mm -hmm. What did that therapy dog mean to you? It was a comfort. It was just a, a distraction from the stress of having a critically ill child. Yeah. And um, it was just a little slice of normalcy. Um, every lots of people have pets, right? And so we love our pets, and it just it makes you feel good. Yeah, a great program offered at the Ronald McDonald House, especially in Rochester, home of Mayo Clinic, where a lot of people yes. are dealing with tough times. So it's nice to have a little buddy help it pick is. you up. It is. Yes, we notice that when we come into the house every time. There's often families, children waiting for us as we walk in, and they they get up off the couch, come greet us, and are happy to see yeah. us, and we're just as happy to see them and. It's just a, a relief. Oftentimes, the 
um, kids and the other parents at the house, they will talk about their own dogs and say how right. much they miss them. And how much they miss them. The, having a dog there just helps bring back a little bit of home for them and just yeah. makes them really happy to see a peg around. Do you guys live in Rochester? We live in St. Charles. Oh, St. Charles, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Bailey. Yeah. Yes. You're pretty calm over there. She Doing is. a good job. Yes. More details on our website. That's KTTC.com. You can learn more about the Ronald McDonald House there as well as this great program. Good job. Do you think you did a good job? I think you did great. Good work down there. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thank you.